Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the mining news flash at Commodity TV. Today with Carora Resources, Canada Nickel, Kuya Silver, Core Mining, Condor Gold and Bluestone Resources. Guys, lots is going on. Very good and positive news. What a hammer. Carora Resources increases proven and probable reserves by 334% to 1.3 million ounces of gold and measured and indicated resources by 167% to 2.5 million ounces of gold. This was calculated at a gold price of only $1,400 per ounce gold and mining until 30 September 2020 has also been discounted. These new consolidated gold mineral resources and reserves will form the basis of Carora's organic growth profile to be announced in Q1 2021, which we eagerly really await. These calculations alone conservatively estimate a production at 150,000 ounces per year for at least 10 years. This is what our proposal is here. This completely repositions Carora and promises strong potential for the stock. Spargo's reward is not even included yet and will be added in the first half of next year with its own estimate. But what the stock market has not taken into account so far is the nickel resource with 16,100 tons. Ladies and gentlemen, according to today's market value at a nickel price of $14,000 per ton, we are talking about over $200 million in byproduct revenues. Congratulations to Carora Resources. The next hammer follows immediately with Canada Nickel. The company signed a landmark memorandum of understanding with the Taqwa Takamu nation called TTN for their Crawford Nickel Cobalt Sulfide project. Ontario's government fully supports this partnership. As outlined in the MOU, has TTN already arranged access to capital to own and develop the electrical transmission facilities that will be required to provide low-cost, reliable electricity for Crawford. Subject to entering into definitive agreements based on this non-binding letter of intent, Canada Needle would lease these assets from TTN at a market rate over the life of mine or, for, or 20 years at least and TTN would be granted an option to acquire a direct minority interest in Canada Nickel on market terms. A big and important step for Canada Nickel, ladies and gentlemen. And we move on with Kuya Silver has acquired 100% of the SNL Andes export through its di indirect hold of uh, owned Peruvian subsidiary. SNL is the Peruvian company that owns the Bethania mine and holds the mining concession permits and other rights. Kuya already owned 80% and to buy the remaining 20% stake, they paid $1.325 million in cash and $425,000 in common shares at a price of 2 Canadian dollars and 9 cents. Now Kuya can quickly build up production at the Bethania mine next year. This should also help the share price to make further gains. Core Mining announced plans to transfer all of their gold exploration assets in British Columbia to a newly formed company called Carus Gold. This is to leverage value for all shareholders of the BC deposits. The area is 1,000 square kilometers in size and is located in the emerging Caribou Gold District, where Osisco Development is heavily invested to the north and synergies may arise in the future. Who knows? The flagship FG Gold project is open for growth with the discovery of the lower zone in 2020 with top intercepts of 10 meters at 3.9 grams gold per ton in 237 meters of drill low depths and 14.3 meters at 6.4 grams gold per ton. They controlled an underexplored 110 km trend with five high priority gold prospects. Results from 14 FG gold drill holes and ongoing Gold Creek drilling are still expected by Q1 2021. Condor Gold is on track for production and started initial site preparation at Minala, India on the site for the proposed processing plant. This includes the main access road from a regional paved motorway to the processing plant, internal roadways and the bypass. All key areas for the construction of the plant, from the storage area to the crushing and grinding machines to the leaching tanks, a storage area and a warehouse will be cleared. This demonstrates Condor's commitment to paving a clear path to the start of production. The trees felt during the clearing work will be replaced at a ratio of 10 to 1 and around 7,000 trees from Condor's own tree nursery will be used. This is how sustainable mining works. 
Bluestone Resources once again announced high-grade drill results from their ongoing drill program at the south zone of the Cerro Blanco Gold project. Top results showed 6.1 meters with 25 grams of gold and 82 grams of silver per ton, or 7.2 meters with 26 grams of gold and 27 grams of silver per ton, including 1.2 meters with over 87 grams of gold and 80 grams of silver per ton. Other values ranged from over 45 grams of gold up to 197 grams of silver per ton. Again, top values that make Cerro Blanco more and more valuable. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not yet included in the share price of Bluestone Resources. Merry Christmas and a healthy and great Happy New Year for 2021. My team and or myself are or may be shareholders in the companies presented and they are or may become part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.